Hey everyone, I'm Lulu Demon from Roller Skate Club and today I'm going to show you how to lay out your short track roller derby track. I'm going to be using our short track roller derby kit that we sell on our website because it's got all of the handy dandy things you're going to need in there. But if you don't have one of these kits, you can 100% do this without them. All you'll need is you'll need a measuring tape, you'll need a space, and you'll need something to demarcate the outside of the track borders, whether that's cones or if you already have your own track markers. Short Track Roller Derby is a really awesome game that allows loads more people around the world to play roller derby. It is a game where you play with three on three skaters, so three skaters on the track at each time, and the track is the size of a regulation basketball court or a regular gym space. It's also got some funky little rules in there where we play in both directions, which makes it kind of fun, um, but also means that it's a lot safer for our bodies in the long run. Why don't I go grab our kit and we can go through what's in there so you can see what you're gonna use to lay out the track today. All right, let's check out what you're gonna find in one of our roller short track roller derby kit. So first off over here, we've got our layout instructions with our handy little um, diagram. And right over here is our rope with all of our little color tabs that are going to correspond to the colored circles on your diagram right there. Got this nice little rope here all ready to go. And then right here we've got our track markers and these are pretty cool because they're actually made from recycled rubber tires. So not only are they super cool, nice and thin, nice and sticky, they're also a recycled item. So these are really nice and thin, which means when you put them down on the ground, even if you roll over them with your wheels, you're not gonna get stuck on them like those silly cones. And you've got enough of these markers to lay out the short track. And then lastly, we've got our handy little roller skate club bag to put everything in. So you can bring your kit wherever you are playing roller derby. All right, let's go and start laying out our short track. Now the first thing you're gonna need, although it's not essential, it just makes it easier, is you're gonna need a buddy. It's just gonna make laying down the short track kit a whole lot easier. All right, let's get started. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna locate the center point of your track. So normally if you're in a regular room, um, you can pace out the center point. So just roughly walk the center of your space and find the middle. Sometimes you can also see where the middle of your space is just by looking at the ceiling. That might show you the center point. And then once you've found your center point, you're going to take the ring end of the rope, um, which is the zero point, and then you're gonna measure 12 foot six inches in each direction, which is gonna be your arc center points. Um, on the rope, that's um, shown by the black tabs on the rope. So if you get your friend to hold the, the ring end of the rope in the middle on point A, the center point of your track, and then you're gonna walk out in one direction and put a marker down for B and then go directly in the other direction and put a marker down again for point B. These are where you're going to measure the arc center point. So these aren't going to be in your track, but they're, they're gonna be important for measuring the track. Next, you're going to trace the outside and inside turn arcs. On your layout instructions, this is C, D, and E. I would definitely recommend tracing the outside turn first, as otherwise if you trace the inside turn and you lay out your markers, um, you can mess up your markers um, when you go to 
do the outside turn. So you're going to, again, your friend's going to grab the little ring point of the rope and they're gonna hold it on that marker that you just put down at B. And then you're going to head on out, find your corresponding colored marker on the rope. And if you're gonna do the outside turn, that's our green marker. So you're gonna head on out all the way out to that green marker and then you're gonna trace that outside arc turn by holding on to that rope and just skating along, putting down your markers as you go. Once you've done the outside turn, you're gonna do the inside turn. So your friend is in the same spot, holding on to the end of the rope on the little B marker that you put down. And now you're gonna find the green tab sorry, the blue tab on the rope, and you're gonna do exactly the same thing, and this is gonna be your inside turn. You're gonna to want to do this at both ends of the track, so, you know, north and south, so that you'll have two nice little semicircles on each end. Then, once those arcs are all done, you're just going to connect the straightaways at F, G, and H. And these are just straight lines. The great thing about um, the short track is that it is symmetrical. So because we play the game in both directions, there is no offset. So you're just going to do a straight line connection between those arcs, and then that's going to connect up your track. Lastly, you're going to measure those starting boxes and these are gonna be five feet and they're gonna be measured just on one side and line up with the center of the track. So you're gonna find your yellow tabs for this one and just measure those two starting boxes at J on the layout instructions. And now you're ready to play roller derby. Have fun.